So I have learned something kind of depressing a little bit, and I've gotten to the point where I'm trying to ruin as many people's lives with this information because uh, I just talked to my brother about it and he's like, wow, now I can't unknow this. So uh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> it's going to be not as serious as the last video, but I'm just like, it, I, I, mm. We can learn something from this, trust me, we, we can, we'll, we will get to it. So I was about to watch a movie on my laptop, because I have HBO Max for a month, and I was scrolling through the movies, I see it right there, I was scrolling through the movies, scrolling through the comedy movies. Remember Alpha and Omega from like 2010? A movie about a two wolves, and that's the plot, I guess, I don't know, two animated wolves, right? Well, I look on HBO Max, and I see five. Alpha and Omega movies. Now, I'm like, wait a minute. I thought there was only one movie, right? I've only heard of the one movie. The first movie wasn't even that great, in my opinion. I think it was okay, right? When I saw it at the time. I did a little bit of digging, and it, this is this is what I <laughs> this is what I found. If you look up Alpha and Omega movies, there's eight of them. Why is there a why I don't even have to why why do all of these exist my brain hurts so I got to thinking oh I think this was made by DreamWorks right wrong you know I thought it was by the same people that made like Ice Age wrong you know who it's made by Prest Animations never heard of this company before so you click on films produced right so you have Alpha and Omega, Swan Princess, Alpha and Omega, Swan Princess, Swan Princess, Alpha and Omega, Swan Princess, Alpha and Omega, Swan Princess, Swan Princess, Swan Princess, Swan Princess. The Trumpet of the Swan. Oh, I, that's a that's one I actually haven't seen yet. The King and I. Wait, they also did Care Bears? Huh. OK, so they've done some other stuff. But my main point is that they've made eight Alpha and Omega movies. And not only that, right? There's probably a reason we haven't heard from them. Because if you look up Swan Princess movies, there's nine of them. Never heard of this before in my entire life. There's only reviews of this first one. Nobody knows about the other eight movies. Gee, I wonder why. So now you know. There are eight Alpha and Omega movies and nine Swan Princess movies, most of which nobody knows about, like at all. Their marketing was terrible. I want to say Crest is out of business, but if you can see here, Swan Princess 9 was made last year. What? <laughs> what? Why? I just... Stuff like this doesn't make sense to me. Stuff like this kind of makes me mad because it's like, why make nine movies about something? The only thing I can think of is Fast and Furious or Star Wars. But Star Wars is good, right? Fast and Furious, I've never seen any of the movies, but it, it's not my taste, right? But something like this, I don't understand why you would need nine movies for the Swan <laughs> Princess. That's what I'm not understanding. I don't think there's that much Swan Princess lore or Alpha and Omega lore, to be honest. I'm dumbfounded. I'm just amazed and kind of flabbergasted that this even exists. And now I've ruined your uh, life with this info that there are eight Alpha and Omega movies and nine Swan Princess movies, all made by Crest Animation Productions. So now you know that info and now you know my pain. <laughs> so me, I'm like, Okay, well, let's look at the reviews. There's only a review on the first movie, so nobody has reviewed the other eight movies. And then for the Alpha and Omega movies, this is interesting specifically. There is one guy that has reviewed. Hi. Hi. I'm talking about the 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 info that I oh, read. Oh, you Yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean that. No, it's fine. He, he was the person that I that I ruined his life with this info. So with the Alpha and Omega movies, it was really interesting because apparently uh, there's one guy on YouTube that has reviewed uh, all of them. <laughs> Every single one. So we have those reviews, so that's cool. But nobody knows about Swan Princess, so that's interesting. So me here, I'm kind of just like, why the frick are there nine movies? Why the frick are there eight movies? So now my brain's like, oh, I kind of want to watch them now and see 
why they kept making the movies. It just doesn't make sense to me. Like, you can literally see with Swan Princess that the animation has, like, changed, like, every single movie. And it's really funny to see. Yeah, they made three Swan Princesses in, like, the 90s. And then they jumped in 2012. They're like, yeah, we need six more. <laughs> <laughs> why my my one question is why i just don't understand why this is a thing and now my curious brain is like oh i want to watch all quick math 17 movies <laughs> not nah, probably not going to my brain wants to now because i'm like i need to understand why there's so many sequels it makes no sense to me come up with some other ips please because like to be honest like seeing this makes me think that like oh these guys aren't as creative as they probably should be because all they're doing is making sequels and to be fair they made other things which i didn't know about until like recording this specifically but what i'm saying is unless you have a really good reason for making nine movies on one storyline probably don't do it and make something different i'm just saying plus to be honest i'd rather have nine individual unique movies than like one humongous storyline about one thing if you're like a animation company not everybody's gonna like swan princess and not everybody's gonna like alpha and omega right that's why disney's really good at what they do because like every single year ish kind of they come out with like a brand new unique experience of a movie that's different from the last and that's important with animation in my opinion so to see this it's kind of just counterproductive in my mind and i'm like it makes me laugh because i just don't understand the mindset with this sort of thing unless there's a huge lore rabbit hole that I just don't know about, but for Swan Princess, kind of doubt it. It just seems like a cash grab in my mind. So I've ruined your life. You're welcome. Um, share this info with everybody you know because it's a fun trivia fact uh, to ruin people's lives. Because why the frick would you make eight Alpha and Omega movies and nine Swan Princess movies? when nobody thinks either is worth anybody's time.